Hi, welcome to Newly Listed. I'm your host, Barrington Miller from the Canadian Securities Ex Exchange. And today I'm here with George Allen, chairman of Lowell Herb Co. Welcome to the show, George. Hey, thanks for having me, Barrington. And, and thanks for showing the flag today. I really appreciate it. No, no, thank you. Uh, you know what? Let's just, let's work backwards. If people wanted to get some of this gear, where should they go and how should so, they go? So we, uh, we actually have a, a, a merch campaign that we're running on, uh, on, on the Book of Face. Uh, and uh, so I think if, if, you, if you're doing the right search strings on Facebook, you should see us proposing, uh, proposing an option. And then otherwise, uh, Lowell Direct has some of our own kit on it as well. So uh, we want to spread the word. We're, we're super happy about the brand and the story and what it means. Well, now you've it makes me happy up. when I see people wearing the flag. Well, <laughs> you've queued it up. You've queued it up nicely. Uh, let's let's talk about what Lowell is, and because um, it's more than just the brand. Uh, tell us tell us the story yeah. of Lowell. Well, Lowell's been uh, it's been an obsession of mine. It's not a brand that I founded, uh, but I've been watching this brand for a long time. I saw it uh, in the early days of cannabis, and. Um, and it really was something that I've been fascinated by uh, in terms of uh, in terms of the uh, the way Lowell talks to consumers. And I'll just put it this way: like, there are a lot of brands out there in cannabis. Lowell was like one of the first brands that I've seen in cannabis that understood that it's important to make your consumer feel special, not only after they try the product, because let's be honest, most most weed does a great job, but make them feel special before. And that's something that, that sort of it really is uh, inherent to the brand. Most cannabis out there today is very session based. Like, let me get at it. I want to get high. Like, don't worry me about packaging. Lowell is something that came around and said, I want to make sure that this cannabis is one that people want to share, that it's going to be, it's going to be uh, showcased front and center on um, when people are, uh, people are enjoying, enjoying weed. And so they made it look special. And if you, you know, if you take a little pack, you throw it on the table, you know, you can, you can hold your breath uh, because you can hold your breath until someone touches it without worrying because someone's going to reach out and grab it. It just has a, it sort of has a, uh, a sort of a very visceral draw and appeal to it. And that's something that I, I love about the brand and, and think, uh, think really highly of it. And so we bought the brand earlier this year we, and, uh, one of the things the brand had had been struggling was with kind of like a legacy of getting it, it right in terms of having the right components in the product. And that was something that I knew we could fix. I knew we could put just great cannabis, great weed inside inside the pre-roll. And that was all it was going to take. We've been really pleased with the results so far. It's a, it's a brand that I just absolutely love. Well, I know uh, I can speak for people internally in places that i am that i go to and <laughs> hang out with um once i told them that i would be interviewing um they had nothing but uh you know high praise uh for for the brand and and for the company so it really really is uh resonating oh uh, it's with, exciting here with, thank you no no problem uh let's let's talk about you uh, where are you from, George? <laughs> how did you uh, How did you get here today? I'm just right on the other end of this little <laughs> magical machine right here. Now, uh, so uh, let's see. I've been in cannabis uh, uh, since uh, 2017 when I got involved in my last company, um, which uh, turned into Acreage Holdings. I I ran that as president, and I left on the day that. Uh, we announced our sale to, to Canopy Growth. And I took about a year to, to think about what I was going to do next. A couple, a couple guys uh, had sort of left with me. And we, we spent a fair amount of time uh, looking for the right thing to jump into. And um, somewhat glutton for punishment, but with a little bit of intent and a super amount of excitement, we jumped into the California, California market because uh, frankly, I, I, this is, this is something that I'm passionate about, uh, cannabis, but I really want to know where we're going with this cannabis story and how it's going to change people's lives and, and how the product is really going to evolve. And California is, um, 
you know, it's uber competitive and it's, it, it's super advanced because the consumer there is much more comfortable uh, with, with weed and, and as is as sort of the, the general public. And so it just it was a market that we, I dove into head first. Uh, I led an investment round uh, early last year to, to recapitalize uh, the predecessor company to Lowell. And that was a public company. And there was a second time I had a, a public company and sort of was excited to, to, to help uh, with that turnaround story and brought a bunch of guys in who were just uh, guys and gals in who were just absolutely fantastic and um, I'm super committed. And it's been, uh, it has been a lot of fun. I've, I've been, I've been a weed smoker for a, a long time, but my background, I never thought my professional career and the fact that I smoke weed would ever uh, intersect, like never in my wildest dreams. Uh, as a matter of fact, my first job at Goldman Sachs was I'm pretty sure that I did everything I could to avoid the two of them intersecting. But here we are, uh, full circle, and worlds and are colliding. Have, yeah, now, now we have conversations about, uh, you know, about R and Ding product, and and uh, and and everybody's waiting around for seven o'clock so so we can try it. You know, and that's that is uh, that's that's that is a really exciting and been a lot of fun. Uh, this journey that you're on, um, you're not doing it alone. Can you talk a bit about some of your team? Yes, I can, but I wouldn't give you their names. <laughs> no way in hell. <laughs> no, they're good. They've been they've been amazing. They're just uh, uh, to be told. They're just they 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 uh, I, it, the timing worked out here really well because there was a there was a, a a very core group of folks who I'd worked closely with at Acres, but we're in New York. COVID hit. And, every, and New York was just a place that you do not want to be during COVID. And so I said, you know, are you interested in, in moving across the country? And, and the hands just shot up. And so uh, that worked that worked out really well. Um, that worked out really well for us. And uh, and, and I would generally say, like, I don't know what... Um, what a cult, another culture would look like because this is the one that the, the team has built but i think we get a lot out of our culture it's it's a, a, an incredible amount of passion an incredible amount of commitment and just a grind you know if we don't if the answer isn't obvious or it isn't easy uh the answer is hard work and and that uh the team's so i'm really pleased and happy with them for doing that and, and obviously i uh I, I thank my good my good graces every single day they're with, they're with me. It's been a, it's been a real it's been a real hoot. And uh, and thank you for that. For our listeners and viewers, um, you might become shareholders. You might become investors. Uh, George, what can you tell them uh, that they have to what they have to look forward to uh, with Lowell, and whether it's three months, six months, yeah, in the future. So what we did when we bought Lowell is we put Lowell on top of a machine that uh, that didn't have a, a brand, but it had sort of all aspects to it that are really important in California. So we had the cultivation, uh, we had our, we had a, a large scale greenhouse which was fully retrofitted and producing absolutely gorgeous uh, cannabis. We had our own manufacturing and processing facility, and then we had a very large distribution footprint. We can put trucks on the road within 24 hours to any, any single dispensary in the state. At any given day, we have between uh, 12 and 15 trucks running on the road doing uh, dozens and dozens of orders each. So, so it's, it's a, uh, this machine was really ready for the Lowell brand. And Lowell had been a brand that had really uh, had overpromised and and had not been able to deliver on the quality of the product as well as the, the the sort of commitments they'd made to their dispensary partners and so that was that was like a hand in glove opportunity for us what's next for us after we complete this sort of integration and in getting the brand coupled with the infrastructure underneath it which will happen in very short order and has happened mostly has happened um What's next for us? We're trying a couple of different things, which I'm really excited about. Number one, uh, we, we, you know, mission number one for us is getting back to 
the top of the leaderboard in California. I've got a plan to do it. It includes uh, a little bit of product, uh, a little bit of innovation, a little, and, and uh, a little bit of creativity and marketing. Um, so mission number one is, is look for us to take, take the leaderboard uh, in, in pre-rolls. Now, I personally believe this. Um, I believe that the pre-roll is to uh, flower as the cigarette was to tobacco, meaning that in the early days, it was a toss up as to which one consumers were buying. The reality is that the loose tobacco sales really fell apart over the years and fell and gave way to really what was the cigarette in that industry. And I think there is, as much as nobody wants to, to draw attention to the cigarette market and to compare themselves to that market because that's anathema. But the reality is like 95% of consumers walk into a dispensary, they walk out with flour and what are they doing with it? They're rolling a joint, right? So let's, let's figure out how to make that easier for them, make the size right for them, make the potency right for them, make the strain right for them and give it to them at the right price. Now, I believe we can do that. I think you take pre-rolls from a, a, a portion of the market to the market. So that's, that's where we're taking the business long-term. I'm also trying to capitalize on what I think is, is a good brand presence for the business. We're taking it into a couple of new markets right now. We're trying Massachusetts and Illinois with our partners at AWH. Very excited about that. Uh, so I think we got a, a lot. We got a lot cooking here with uh, with our business. I'm super happy. Like if you if you told me that um, that that I would get to be on the team that has this brand, which is a brand I'm very passionate about, with the infrastructure that we have two years two years ago, I would have told you to get there. because it honestly it is that amazing of a combination. I don't care what, where, where we stand in terms of the MSOs and where they are, because the full reality is that this is going to be a branded products business eventually. You're going to create loyalty with consumers. And I don't, there's so many labels out there in cannabis. This real brands are few and far between. And I think we got one here and wait to see what we're going to do with it. You know, uh, my my final question was was going to be, you know, what's your differentiator? But you you uh, you touched on it and you talked about it, and and what I really really found interesting, and I'm glad you brought it up, because I've done countless interviews. Uh, nobody has really come out and said what you what you said in equating, uh, you know, loose tobacco with pre rolled tobacco, which is called a cigarette, and uh, and this is where the industry is. I, I think it's really great. I think it's important. I think it's open and honest, and I am very glad uh, that you brought it up. Uh, last thing, where <laughs> uh, where can people find more information about the company, and what's your stock symbol? Well, it just so happens to be that we have a website. You know, I'm, I'm really pleased with that. <laughs> on the intro web. <laughs> exactly. You, now you go to the Google. Uh, now we're we're at lowellfarms.com. Uh, the ticker uh, the ticker is L O W L F in uh, in um, in the U S and L O W L dot C N in Canada. And uh, yep, we're proudly trading on the this uh, the C S E and grateful for it and um it's been uh, it's been one heck of a ride and we're super thankful for everything they've done for us as well as the whole business well george uh i'm grateful for you i'm grateful for lowell and thank you so much for being a part of our family and for appearing on the newly listed episode with your host barrington miller this was george allen chairman of lowell herbs co check awesome. it out thanks Baron. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. That's awesome. It's so much fun. Thank you for tuning in to another newly listed on the CSE. Please feel free to hit like and share this content and hit subscribe if you haven't already.